Thank you for purchasing a crocheted blanket pattern from Color and Shape Design by Jody Pyatt. This video tutorial shows how we change yarn colors. If you know another method that you would prefer to use, please feel free. So first you're going to follow the instructions for the B square using ivory yarn until you reach row 6. This is the first row that asks for a color change. The instructions state to single crochet 13 and then change to yellow yarn. So here we have 12 single crochets. We're going to complete our 13th single crochet. But you need the color on your hook before you begin the next stitch. So we're going to undo the 13th stitch you just completed and grab some yellow yarn and use it to pull through to complete the 13th stitch. It is very important at this step that you move the ivory yarn to the front of your piece before continuing. In this case, by front of the piece, we mean the side facing you. The instructions call for a popcorn and then a single crochet stitch. And then we're going to change color again to gray. So again, you need the new color on your hook before you begin the next stitch. So undo the single crochet stitch you just completed. Grab the gray yarn and use it to pull through to complete the yellow single crochet stitch. Again, very important, move the yellow yarn to the front of your piece before you continue. The instructions call for a popcorn and then a single until you have three popcorn stitches. There's one. Two popcorns. Then you're another single. And then your third. Now instructions state to change to yellow yarn. Again, undo the prior stitch, in this case, the popcorn. You're going to grab the yellow yarn and use it to pull through to complete the gray popcorn. So there's your yellow. And pull through. Then one single crochet and one popcorn before changing to ivory. Again, make sure you pulled your gray yarn to the front before you continued on. Okay, so pull your yellow yarn to the front and grab your ivory and pull through to complete that last stitch. Go. All right, single crochet seven times and then one popcorn and two single crochets to finish out the row. And as always, we're going to, at the end, chain one and turn. So now going back, the instructions call for a single crochet and then seven more, so eight single crochets in total, before we change to yellow. So there's your eighth single crochet. You're going to move your ivory to the front and before completing that final ivory stitch, grab your yellow yarn right there from where it's hanging at the back and pull through. The yarn should be right at the back of the piece where we placed it at the front before we turned and went back. We're going to single crochet three in yellow and then change to gray. So move your yellow to the front and use a gray to complete the last stitch of yellow. Single crochet five, change to yellow So once again, on that last stitch of gray, before pulling through, you hook your yellow from the front, move your gray to the front facing you, and in yellow, we're going to single crochet three, and then finish that last third single crochet with ivory, moving your yellow yarn to the front, and then we're going to single crochet 14 to the end of the row. We're going to go ahead and do one more row with this, but the technique at this point remains the same. Chain one and turn as always. 
We're going to do a popcorn and then 11 single crochets. one, there's two, there's three, there's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. So we're going to move our ivory to the front, finish up that eleventh stitch with yellow pulling through. We're going to popcorn and then single crochet three. There's our popcorn. We've got one, two, and three. We're going to move our yellow to the front and complete that third single crochet with gray on our hook. And we're going to popcorn and single crochet three once more. So there's our popcorn. We've got one, two, and three. And before we finish that third, we're going to change once again to yellow. So pull that gray to the front, wrap your yellow around your hook and pull through, finishing up that third single crochet. We're going to single crochet three and then do a popcorn. And then in the last stitch of that popcorn, before we pull it through, we're going to get ivory on our hook and move yellow to the front, as always, and then pull through and complete that popcorn stitch. And now we're going to single crochet five. We have a popcorn. Single crochet two. And then we chain one and turn. So your piece so far should look like this. There's the front and the back, and we're going to continue on in this way. And when completed, your piece should look like this. Here's the front, and here's the back. Thank you again for purchasing this pattern. You can visit us online on Etsy and Ravelry, and always log on to Facebook to share your finished products with us.